What? Where did we come from? We're just... Oh, okay, we came from... Alright. Can I get back? Uh, nope. Alright, <laughs> I didn't think so. Ooh, looks like a camp here. Who would have camped in here? Oh, okay, it's just opening to the outside. We must have... Hmm. So someone came from here and went back there and... That doesn't make any sense. They couldn't have put the candles in from this direction. They would have had to follow down the way we came. Because you couldn't get up a lot of those places where we came down, so... Although they could have gone back some of the places, it's... I don't know. This has got to be recent. These candles look like the, some of these were just lit. They've got a lot of candles. What was that one fre freighter just carrying candles? Is that what it was? <laughs> Man, that's beautiful. Must have passed out or something for it to have taken this long to come back out of the cave. Ooh, another. I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? That's a strange metaphor, but okay. In a few different directions we can go. I want to go up, but first I want to come over here and look at this. This very worn dock. Can I go, go over? Oh, okay. That's what happens when you fall in the water. You die, sort of. <laughs> At least you got a glimpse of it. Come back. Yeah. That, that's what's the game's way of preventing us from going into the sea. By doing that little trickery. Another big circuit board. Of some kind. Right? Is that another circuit board? Yeah, I see more re resistor symbols. Huh. Maybe they're designs, because he's... Frankenstein, freaking Frankenstein, he's bringing his wife back to life. No. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, I have to go a long way to come back around and go back up top again, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I want to see what's up top there. I can always fall back down on the path anytime. I'm going to take the higher road, because I take longer to come back to it. That cave was really something. I'm glad that they turn this to night now because everything's more beautiful and all inspired at night all inspired all inspiring what if there's a significance to the to the stars we see hmm. I, I could never understand constellations I never see constellations I guess I'm just not very good at finding those patterns. Especially when they're silly ones like, oh, found his paintbrushes. Especially when silly ones like, oh, here's three stars. It was like a belt. So you have to imagine a whole person standing there. And then you've got Orion's belt and then you've got Orion. <laughs> From three stars in a row. Jesus. Hmm. What's this? bunch of fences. Why? Oh, okay, we've got pictures. I returned home with a pocket full of stolen ash. Half of it fell out of my coat and vanished into the car's upholstery. But the rest I carefully stowed away in a box I kept in a drawer by the side of my bed. It was never intended as a meaningful act, but over the years it became a kind of talisman. I'd sit still quite still for hours, just holding the diminishing powder in my palm and noting its smoothness. In time, we will all be worn down into granules, washed into the sea, and dispersed. Very true, but dude, you really need to see a counselor, because you, you've got a serious case of depression over your wife's death. More than I think is really appropriate. Maybe I'm just a, an asshole, but... <laughs> I just think that it's, uh, you're obsessing excessively. Why would you have to steal the ash? If she was your wife, she'd be cremated, because we've established she was cremated. 
and her ashes would just be given to you. Why would you have to steal them? Steal them from where? You could have the urn on your on your desk by your by your bed if you wanted. What the? Someone performed a surgery here. Did he like try to fix his leg? What? Okay, so it's a uh, one of those machines that starts your heart after you've after your heart stopped. And someone gave him pills and an injection and did some kind of surgery here. Just recently. Or so it seems. Huh. Who? The guy was on his own. He couldn't administer his own heart shock thing. Could he? I don't think so. Pretty sure not. I still don't know what the hell an aerial is. <laughs> Leave a comment, inform me about how much of an idiot I am, and then tell me what it means. Or you could just say, why don't you look it up? Well, because. Because I want the interaction of you guys talking to me. So, if I don't know something, I'd love to ask you. That way, I force you guys to respond. And that way, I can be like, oh, thanks. You are the best. Hmm. So the guy isn't even aware if it's him or Donnelly or whatever who made these paintings, but I'm guessing it's the narrator who did it. And he's just freaking insane. What are these? I think I mentioned said these were hydrocarbons. They're clearly not though. This is some kind of bigger chain, something more complicated, like maybe an amino acid or something. What what's this? Another picture. This one looks shattered. Looks like it's cracked. And it's a little girl. Is that his wife? Huh. Why would you have a picture of your of your wife as a little girl? That's strange. I think you'd have her as you remember her right before she died, not as she was as a kid. So uh, some guy is maintaining this strange shrine all over the island. You've got to catch, catch up to the guy sooner or later or find his corpse or something. The remains of a car. It's supposed to be like the... He's got it enshrined here as if it's the car that she died in or something. Which, of course, it wouldn't be. Oh, there's that tower. So you completely bypass that tower. Again, I'd like to know where it gets power from. There were from. chemical diagrams on the posters on the walls on the waiting room. It seemed appropriate at the time still life abstractions of the processes which had already begun to break down your nerves and your muscles in the next room. I crammed diazepam as I once crammed for chemistry examinations. I am revising my options for a long and happy life. Finally, we know what the hell all this stuff is. There, <laughs> he just memorized the diagrams on the walls of the hospital. Jeez, I'm glad I know that. Okay, him, it looks like the word him. Around, shown, heaven, uh, from, plight, from, heaven, shown around him. So that must be a reference to Jesus or something. Plight? No, a light from heaven. <laughs> Idiot. A light from heaven shown around him. So maybe not Jesus specifically, someone. Well, obviously someone. It's another biblical reference, whatever it is. Is diazepam, is that the chemical he was writing down? He was sketching, or is it some of those things he was taking? I'm not sure what that is. I don't really want to go down there, though. This is kind of creepy. I'd be scared. Here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Okay. So we as a narrator came to this island and this is us. 
imagining these little boat letters that we've gathered being read by this guy. Letters to his dead wife. Aww. Sad. Cool. It's pretty awesome. Must not have been in the water for very long. I can see some words like Robert. 2004. And that departed to depart on July. An invalid passport. My health has something. I departed or attempted on July 13th with this uh, deteriorated time for of the time for stuff. I wonder if each of these are individual or if they just kind of repeat because they're just textures after all. I wonder if they actually wrote out a number of letters to make them each unique. I'm curious. I wish I could crouch. Nope, this one says 2004. July 13th. Nope, nope. They repeated the textures. They didn't make a bunch of unique ones for each. Too bad. They probably all had the same texture if I get a chance to look at another one. Yep, they all had the exact same texture. So, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Because <laughs> these are all the exact same letter. Are there actually 21 of them? Sorry, I'm just... I'm analyzing things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I only... Maybe I miscounted, but... Maybe that's 21? I believe then that there's 21 of them. He has read... He, there have been a lot more than just 21 narrations, though, but those may have been snippets from, multi, from multiple letters, or from the same letter. I guess I gotta go up that way. But, I suppose it would have been too much work for the development team to actually write out 21 letters as textures, even though it would have been pretty cool. Let's see, on a, on a sudden, oh, it must be like the title of a poem or something. A light from heaven shone around him, and he fell for, he fell to the ground. Oh, isn't that what happened to, uh, to Saul? That's what happened to Saul when he, who was a real prick in the Bible. He, like, hated Christians and such. And then a light shone around him, and he fell to the ground, and God spoke to him, and he changed his name to Paul, and became a devout Christian. Huh. So I guess that's a reference to the narrator having some kind of epiphany or something. At least that's my guess. That's cool. It's cool. Hope we go up to that light, because goddammit, it, I want to know what the hell that thing is. It looks like, ouch, it looks like some kind of television transmitter tower, because I see little dark spots on it, which look like, uh, that look like some kind of dishes of some kind. Like satellite dishes, not like plates. <laughs> As if I have to say it. A sound of torn metal, teeth running over the edge of the rocks, a moon that casts a signal. As I lay pinned beside you, the ticking of the cooling engine, and the calling from a great height, all my mind as a bypass. Okay, so he was in the car with his wife when they got hit. Which makes sense, because he mentioned that he was watching Paul count the seconds for the emergency guys to arrive. And I was wondering how he could have done that if he wasn't there. But there was something earlier, I don't remember what it was exactly, but something hinted or suggested that he wasn't with her when she died. I'm not... Maybe it's just unreliable narrator. I don't, I don't know. But I, I mentioned that specifically, too. I stopped and said, hey, oh, apparently he wasn't with her. I'm not... I don't remember why I thought that, though. So, apparently he was, though. 